Hello all, welcome back to Shaking with Peg Leg. Yes, we're doing a face shave today and we'll get to that in just a minute. First, I had this come in the mail today. I wasn't going to order any soaps this, this month. I really wasn't. I was going to stick with hardware and, and not so much soaps. Um, but... Don over what the face came out with. He came out with his Christmas soap, Christmas time, which had eucalyptus in it. And you guys know I'm not a big menthol fan, and eucalyptus and menthol are kind of, you know, the same thing to me. So, but he came out with another one called Silent Night. And I don't have a Christmas soap. So I said, okay, let me get that for my Christmas soap. I'm thinking I might use this for all of December. I'm not sure yet. Because I really don't have any other soaps coming in. Let's give this a sniffy. That's, that's, that's good. Wow. I can't place the notes. I, I can't. Honey, vanilla, dried fruit, sheer musk, floral jasmine, and sweet musk. Okay, I'm, I'm picking up the honey and the vanilla. And I'm getting a musk. I'm not sure if the sheer musk or the or the sweet musk, but I'm getting a. a, a I'm going to say it's the sweet musk because it, it's a little sweeter. That is a good scent, guys. That really. If you're not into like all that pine needle stuff and you want a Christmas scent, right here. That's a good Christmas scent. Thank you, Don, for coming out with that and spending more of my money. <laughs> Like I said, I was just gonna, I was just gonna do gear, you know, hardware this month and no software. And he came out with that. I was like, okay, I don't have a Christmas soap, so I'll go with that. And of course, I got the splash. We'll open that when we go to use it. And because I don't have anything besides that cream that has very little scent to it. For, hang on a second. He's got, yeah, I don't have anything Old Spice besides that cream that's got very, very little scent to it. But he's got, he seals his tubs in this. So let's try to cut that off. Okay, let's get into this. I did not get a splash for this because I have, everybody has Old Spice, right? Old Spice. Spices from the Sea is an homage to Old Spice. It smells good. Okay, good. Happy with that. Alright, be right back with the shade video. All right, welcome back. Now it's time to shave. I'm gonna use the soap that um, Dave in Kentucky sent me with all those razors, the Vander Lovett, um, or Lovett, excuse me, Vander Lovett Dutch Blue. It, I believe it just comes in a puck form like that, and that he put it in the tub and sent it to me. I do believe that's how I saw it online. It was just a puck in a box, and he put it in this and sent it. That, gentlemen, that is a great, I put this in barbershop class. To me, that's... This is the old style. All right. There's modern barbershops that are real powdery. That I've, I've got several barbershops, and a lot of them are that real powdery, almost salon, hair salon type scent after they get done. And I've got some barbershops that, that's that scent that when you open the door, it slaps you in the face. And those are the ones I really like. This is the scent that goes with 
the one that you open the door and the scent slap you in the face. This is the one that you smell, because after you get in there, you know, you get used to all the scents and everything, the smells that are in the shop. This is the scent that you get when you're sitting in the chair and they're all done with you and they finished you off, they put talc on you, they give you a splash of some cologne or aftershave or something. This is the scent right here. And it's old style to me. That's what I get out of it. You, your, your nose may differ, and we're going to try something. I put it in my little... This is a offering bowl. Um, it's, a, it's only three inches wide. It's about two inches deep. So I got some soap shaved. I shaved it off the bottom of the puck, so I didn't... I like the printing on the top, the imprinting, imprint, imp, impressions of the printing on the top of the puck, so I scraped it off the bottom. And to use it in that small of a bowl, I'm going to use my Ever Ready, I believe it's the T100. I believe that's what I saw. I looked at it. Nope, it's just the Ever Ready 150 bore brush. I'm just going to whip it up in there. I know I haven't showed you the razor yet, but if you watched my last video, two videos ago, you know which razor I'm using. Speaking of which, go back to my last head shave video from Wednesday. Watch it to the end, or at least watch the ending of it. And I won't tell you why, but I suggest you do, because I wouldn't tell you to do it. Otherwise, because there's a good reason. And today, guys, there's going to be no history lesson. There wasn't a lot to talk about. I could talk about Vlad the Impaler winning a, a, a battle with the help of two Austrian uh, dukes or barons or whatever. You know, Dracula, Duke, Vlad the Impeller, and a couple other minor things. Uh, there was no information, um, I forgot his name already. 18, 1829, I believe it was, invented the uh, first refrigerator car for railroads. Well, railroads were slow to adopt it because they didn't want to spend money on something like that. water it's doing okay just got to use a small brush because it's a small bowl oh this brush is losing hair so that's all right they'll shave off Still adding water to this. Good soap. Damn good soap. Love that scent. I was watching, uh, I watched the Groomsman channel. It's one of the ones I go through the rotation and put in the description box for you guys to sign up and watch them. And Jonathan did a video a couple days ago where he was talking about how people were complaining that Henson, they, when they came out with their new plus, 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 plus razor, people were complaining that they did terrible marketing on it. And, oh, okay, my packing slip fell on the floor. I wonder what fell. Didn't hear a clang. And they were all up in arms about how it was terrible marketing on, on Henson's part and yada yada and I told I made a comment in his video about the only ones complaining about it were the ones that didn't get a free one to test usually if you hear somebody complaining about something it's because they didn't get a free one to test unless they bought you know you buy something you test it and you don't like it that's one thing but these guys were they didn't even have one to test and they were complaining about you know they're using their old 
Henson Medium or, or Henson Original, and they're complaining that uh, the new Plus Plus Plus, uh, a terrible marketing, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, because you didn't get a free one. Sometimes I get, I get the feeling that some of these guys get into doing videos so they can get free stuff from the manufacturers. And that's the only reason they're doing it. You watch this channel, you know I usually speak my mind about stuff. And if it offends somebody, tough. Go watch somebody else. Seriously, because I'm just going to speak my mind. That's all there is to it. Um, I'm not going to hold back. Sometimes my language gets a little rough. Usually I try to control that, but my glasses, I get these rivers. Okay, the razor today. My Waterford Crystal handle for the Gillette Track 2 head. Doesn't pivot, doesn't do anything. It's got a goop slip, uh, strip, but can't help that. Beautiful, long handle. Not heavy at all. It's just... It's gorgeous. So we're, It's just a cartridge razor with a fancy handle. So that's what we're going with today. I gotta find the right angle for it too. I think I got it. I think I got the right angle. Clogs up easy though. It's a gorgeous handle. And since I bought this one, like I said, I've looked I looked at the silver ones, I looked at the gold ones for the track two head. Unless they wants to clog up like crazy. So it might be still a little thick. But this only has two blades, so it's not some monster. Yeah, I think the soap's a little thick. It doesn't doesn't want to clear out from between the blades, but that might be inherent of the track too. To I never used the track too. I tell you what, though, <laughs> it did pretty good. All over the handle, all over the brush, still got a lot in the little cup. Plucking hairs out. So, I found somebody, I found this a while ago. I was following a channel. I since have stopped following him because he doesn't need me to follow him anymore. And I noticed after a couple weeks of following him, I started following him, his numbers were at like, he was at like 345, 348 subscribers, something in that range. Yeah, his soap's a little thick, so we're gonna give it some wah-wah. And then after a couple weeks, his numbers were 
six to seven hundred. And I was like, what the hell's going on? It's only been a couple weeks. So I went on an uh, analytics tracker and I looked at his channel. He's buying subscriptions. I was like, oh, that's it. I, un I unfollowed him. I check in every once in a while to see if he's still going. To see if his numbers are still rising. He's at almost 1,900 subscribers now, since August. And I think he's one of the ones. He's This guy's only got, like, I should say only. It's, no, it's you can do it with one razor. You can do a channel with one razor. He's only got, like, seven razors he's ever done that I could see in his content isn't bad it's it's actually decent I don't see why he should he would have to buy subscriptions and he's not the only one others have done it there's one guy that's kind of popular right now who supposedly did it too oh what am I doing supposed to go on this way I guess if that's what you want to do, go for it, right? got that kind of money to piss away I don't think it's that expensive though you can also buy watch hours because YouTube you need a thousand subscribers 4,000 watch hours to monetize your channel it used to be a thousand a thousand and they so many people got there, they went to 1,000, 2,000, then 1,000, 3,000, now they're at 1,000, 4,000. By the time I get to 1,000 subscribers, if I ever do, it'll probably be 8,000 watch hours, whatever. How do you guys feel about that? Do you think it's cheating? It is almost akin to cheating, is it, the way I look at it. It's really... Because you didn't make your popularity on your own merit. You made it on your wallet. And let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do a video showing you how to track somebody to see if that's what they're doing if you even care you can check track your own channel you can track anybody any channel out there any channel on YouTube you can track I'm not a very computer technical guy I used to follow somebody I don't follow I still do but I don't watch his videos as much as I used to I used to be a hardcore follower, but I kind of I got away from him. Who's very, very YouTube technical and knows how to do all that stuff. And he did a video showing people how to track other people. And that's how I learned how to do it. Doesn't want to come off the razor head when I shake it in the water. See, and I still got 
in between the blades. Great scent, guys. It's not that soap's not that expensive either. Vander Lovett Dutch Blue. They have a website. I don't know who else carries it. it might might be for sale on Amazon. I have no clue. My usual spots. Just no matter what razor I use, my usual spots. Let's just do the whole neck again. How about that? And I was able to whip enough soap in that little bowl to do all my passes. See that? Still thick. I added a ton of water to this soap too. Huh. It's like paste. Good, good, good residual slickness. I know some of you guys probably don't like hard fuck soaps, but don't overlook them. Sometimes they might be a little bit more work. But for that little extra work, You get highly rewarded. I'm BBS. Oh, wait. Spoke too soon. BBS now. Gotta clean that time. Yeah, just let me know in the comments. You want me to show you guys how to track somebody if you don't know how already? I'll, I'll make a video on it. That's not a problem. Give me something to do. Just a little bit of face wash. Wow. That is a fantastic scent. Thank you, Dave. That's a great soap. I like that soap. That is, that is, that is really good. <laughs> Sorry, gotta run the water. There's the hot. Wasn't that long since I ran it. Fantastic scent, guys. I'm going to be smelling that all day now. Got it in my beard and mustache now. My goat. I got some of the soap on my lips, and they're still slick. That, I'll tell you what, that track two, 
You need a quick shave. That's that's not going to be bad. I'll have to try and use that one on the head, I think. That's not bad at all. See, I believe if they had stopped at two blades, they'd been fine. The rest of the rest of the blades are just a freaking gimmick. Sorry, but they are. It's just to sell you stuff. It's like when Aylesworth came out with his razor. Everybody lost their damn minds trying to buy one. And he's doing the restock. And the restock is selling out. Everybody's losing their minds over it. Anytime something new comes out. Especially if they... Um, I, I did order the Twig Thorn. Because I kind of wanted one. But it was like the only other modern razor I wanted. I, wanted to, I just wanted to try one. And I ordered the Thorn. The more aggressive one. I wanted it in blueberry. I couldn't get it in blueberry, so I ordered it in mercury. Big deal. It's almost black. They were out of black, too. But I think the blueberry was a limited run. And they sold a ton of those because the blueberry was a limited run. Anytime you come out with some new product and say, this is a limited run, these people lose their minds to get it. I mean, I realize it's a limited run, and you got to get. You want to get one, you got to get it early. But it's like, just put the... Just come out with something and say, limited run, it's a limited run. And then after buddy, at the big rush, then just make it regular and piss everybody off. Just, just I don't, I don't, I don't need it. I really don't. I, I did no nickus at all. Not a, not a, not a weeper, not a seeper, not nothing. A little witch hazel. And for an aftershave, I don't really have anything to go with that, so I'm just going to go with the 4711. Give it a shake. Yes, it's a more of a on the floral side. Citrus too though. It's got a good citrus kick right off the top. But guys, you gotta remember, back when this stuff was originally came out, florals were pretty much all they had, and all the guys wore it. Max Hydration Nivea. Just a wee bit. Good stuff right there. And since I have it, the cologne. Yes, that's going to override the soap, but that's okay. That's a good scent, too. I like that. All right, guys. Appreciate you being here. It was good shape. Um, Vander Love It Dutch Blue. Is that soap? It's good soap, real good. It's super slick. Um, lather monster too. Um, you can see all the hairs in the bottom, but I didn't even use all the soap I put in the dish. So I'm, I'm gonna have to let that dry out and put it, scrape it, and put it back in the tub. Beautiful, beautiful handle. I I saw a brass one the other day. I seen the gold and the silver. I saw a brass one the other day. So track two, decent cartridge head. Still not that expensive. I, like I said, I got 30 of them on Amazon for $9.99. So, you know, that's at least 120 shades, maybe 150. All right, guys, appreciate it. Don't forget the affiliate link. And thank you for already used, who already used it. Appreciate it. Got us one-third of the way to $25 already. So, thumbs up to you. And we'll put another card out when that hits 25. Don't forget the four links of the channels that... Uh, to put in the description box go ahead and follow them and let me know if you want to see a video on how to track somebody their analytics and let me know if you think it's cheating or not all right appreciate it guys y'all take care out there down with the babbling fat guy in the camera you're in the chair next happy shaves out there guys <laughs>